Hi, Sally. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, Sally, you know the purpose of this meeting and the objective of this meeting. So uh, we will try to help the students uh, who will appear for the PhD, uh, PhD in future in English, English literature, maybe in any IITs like IIT Bombay, Delhi, something like that. So guys, uh, uh, in this, uh, from this uh, like uh, interaction, so you will get the information about the interview experience of IIT Bombay. Uh, about uh, English literature. So before the discussion, uh, Sally, please uh, introduce yourself so that my viewers, my student uh, can get some sense about you. Who are you? Where are you from? What is your education background? Something like that. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sally Suradkar. I'm from Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra. I have done my bachelor's and master's from Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwada University in English. Thereafter, I have cleared NET JRF and I have also cleared GATE 2023. And currently, I am a PhD student and uh, I have uh, already uh, submitted and uh, done the uh, interview process of IIT Indoor. And I have also uh, applied for IIT Hyderabad and IIT Gandhinagar as well, where I was not shortlisted. And IIT, these were, uh, I have been shortlisted and uh, I was uh, able to qualify to interview round. Thanks. Uh, uh, very good. So now, uh, Sally, you know the uh, the main uh, purpose of this uh, interaction. So, uh, Sally, uh, could you please say something? What was the overall uh, process of uh, IIT Bombay for uh, PhD? Okay, a PhD interview in English literature. So could you please uh, brief about it? Yes, sir, definitely, sir. So the whole PhD process starts in the March where an advertisement is uh, given out uh, in the month. And then the April follows with the application fill-ups and all. And then in the uh, month of May, the written exam and interview goes on. Uh, so basically there are uh, two uh, semester-wise PhD held. Uh, first is the autumn semester and the second is a uh, spring semester that will begin in uh, September. Right. So I applied for the uh, autumn semester and I was able to shortlist and get selected in the interview process. So uh, during the application itself, uh, filling up the application, they ask us for a statement of purpose and a research proposal. Yes. And uh, one second. Yes, tell you one second. So I will, uh, I will. Uh... I will. Uh, I want to say something in this uh, particular uh, point that Sally has mentioned uh, two important things. One is SOP and uh, another one is like SOR. Uh, guys, already I have mentioned multiple times in many videos that uh, SOP that is statement of purpose and SOR that is a statement of research uh, or RP research proposal. So these Two things are very important uh, for the shortlisting, for the first round uh, shortlisting criteria. Right? Am I right, Sally? Right? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, please go on. Please go on. Yes, sir. So, uh, then the shortlisting of the candidates uh, is uh, displayed on the website. And mm -hmm. based on that, the entrance exam will follow. And the entrance exam basically will ask a simple question uh, that. Uh, they will check the writing skill and check the critical ability of the candidate. And right. so, sir, uh, uh, written exam will have uh, basically two parts. Uh, and uh, it varies actually uh, during the season what they will ask and what they will not. Uh, right. During my during my uh, semester exam, the, there were actually uh, two parts that were divided into the exam. Mm -hmm. uh, the first had three questions and the second had uh, two questions. And right. we were asked to answer one question from the each part. Uh, Sally, each were required. You, one second, Sally. You are talking about uh, uh, written test, right? Yes, sir. Yes, please go on. Please go on. Yes, sir. So one question was asked from each of the parts, yes. and it was required to be answered in 750 words or the three pages. And the time provided for the same was two hours. Uh, right. And basically, mm, the one question that I have seen that was recurrently asked was about your research topic, what issues you were trying trying to solve, uh, what were the authors, uh, what were the uh, expected outcomes that you want to do, 
but they will definitely ask this in every uh, written exam uh, so second question they asked was about uh, a method that will that you will use for observation and interpretation of your work uh, that was basically okay. upon your choice how to you will uh, elaborate it and write and uh, then sir there was a question about a uh, critical evaluation they were basically asking two questions were asked where passages were given and we have to apply some critical theories on that so that uh, we can uh, draw meaningful uh, inspiration of it and then after the uh, exam like this were basically the questions that were asked and uh, one one question you have to answer each and then after the exam they said that the results will be declared at uh, 7 pm on the official website and thereby you you may know that whether you are selected or not and on that basis you may apply, uh, apply for the uh, for the round and uh, at 7 pm they said that uh, they will uh, upload the, the result and by god please i was like shortlisted and sir one advice that i would like to give for the future aspirant who will write the exam that before uh, going for written exam please scan the profiles of the professor because the questions they will ask will be purely based on that thesis area that the professors they are working on in the iit bombay yes sir so yes sir uh, just uh, one point i want to add in this context uh, that is uh, i will tell my uh, viewers and everyone okay and future aspirants uh, what sali has uh, like mentioned and i will just explain that uh, point and context okay so like uh, every time what i uh, do uh, that that is i i generally i generally suggest all the students so before interview before written test you have to explore the iit website of that particular institute okay when you will explore that particular institute's website you will get the sense okay what type of uh, research works are going on what type of activities they are doing what are the profiles of those professors every information you will get and that will help you during your written test as well as in the uh, interview also so and that point actually sail is uh, trying to explain okay so uh, sail uh, now uh, could you please uh, elaborate the uh, can you please uh, explain the what was the questions what were the questions of interview and who were the panelist yes sir so next day they called us for the interview uh, in the morning uh, 10 10:30 pm uh, 10:30 am to around 1 they called us uh so then first thing they did was they checked the documents and all and then we were asked to wait in the waiting area i was third to go sir and in when i entered the uh, hod's conference room where the interview was happening uh, there were four professors uh right. for to name them uh, there were um, uh, polami ma'am uh, sharmila ma'am vibhushan sir and rajaram sir these were basically okay. for the english discipline and okay. uh, as soon as yes sir so four professors were there in your panel four professors right no sir two associate professor and two uh, assistant professor acha acha yes. and like they 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 were from uh, english literature uh, background right okay yes, so this will this this will help the future aspirants also okay so please go on sir please go on uh sir so as soon as i entered the room uh, ma'am said to just have your seat and just relax and yes. she said that don't worry relax yourself and calm down and she asked them that uh, have you done net or do you have an extra curricular activity other than your academics or do you have any research experience i said in my case i didn't have any research experience but for those who have this will be really very beneficial if you are applying very for the old iit yes very sir. beneficial yes sir and so then they um, i was expecting that they will ask me about my introduction or something like that background and all but uh, that was not the case they yes, directly okay. opened my proposal and they started asking me uh, my uh, research questions and what i want to basically do So, sir, basically, uh, where uh, I applied there, I uh, the topic of my research was the uh, analysis of gender performance in Indian cyberspace. It was right. the topic that I have uh, applied for. 
to right. the questions that uh, that followed in the interview were like how cyberspace is different from the offline platform or uh, are there any boundaries in the cyberspace that are manifested online whether the uh, domain of uh, countries come into the uh, cyberspace that's that were the questions and they also asked that how hypertext can increase the reading and how it will be beneficial since my most of the research area is basically based on cyberspace so they elaborated and asked on the technical aspects of it uh, right. i was actually a um, little bit lacking knowledge about it so i couldn't answer it well at that time okay. uh, then It's they fine. Yes, sir. So then, uh, they also asked about what is basically cyber space. Then, ma'am also asked what is difference between gender performance and gender performativity, and um, how will cyber space enhance or benefit gender performance for future people. And uh, they also asked explain why you want to do your research, and what is the purpose behind it. They have also asked about. Um, About certain apps that are available that will increase gender identity. So basically, everything was revolving around uh, proposal, and uh, they were checking what knowledge you have and what you can more contribute to uh, to the field. And sir, so, uh, one best thing that I received was that uh, after the interview, ma'am said that yes, you are doing something right, uh, but you need to focus more on reading books also because something you are lacking there. So, so right. this was very nice that uh, ma'am uh, said me to do it, and she also suggested uh, suggested me that uh, there are also areas that are certainly not touched by any. You can also focus on this if you want. So that was right. the uh, nice output that I have gotten. And sir, uh, for the future aspirant, I can just say that uh, interview process is just about defending your proposal. and this uh, holding your views that yes you are doing something and yes i want to do this because this is the problem that people are facing and we are here to solve it they are basically trying to see that how you will defend your work because phd is all about defending your thesis at the end i guess i agree absolutely 100% i agree with your uh, like statement uh, i know this very well because i appeared uh, for the interview in mon Multiple in institutes, multiple times for multiple years. Okay, I know this very well. So, but ये जो interview लेने का जो तरीका है ना, they are like different types. मैंने बहुत कुछ देख चुका हूँ interview में भी कैसा होता है, कोई ऐसा पूछता है. Many will start the interview by asking the question introduction you introduce yourself. Okay, but sometimes it will not happen. Sometimes it will not happen. The reason is when if we if we if you see that the number of candidates is uh, like are high okay so definitely they will not ask this question definitely they will enter your academic background and they will ask you about if like if you are a phd aspirant okay so then they will they will ask you about your proposal okay they will start from that particular standpoint okay so all these are the uh, things already you have like experience at iit bombay and i will tell all the future aspirants and my viewers every one please listen this carefully agar interview mein kuch karna hai acha uske liye na acha literature review karna chahiye and literature review is nothing but you have to read research articles it may be uh, maybe like books maybe research articles empirical paper conceptual paper something like that but uh, already uh, sally uh like has men mentioned all the things that uh, like she has experienced at iid bombay and sally thank you for this and the last thank question yeah, listen just my last question is that uh, like uh, could you please say uh, something about your overall experience overall experience of the interview at iid bombay sir i would say that whenever you plan something and go out nothing will happen according to your plan there are some unexpected questions that will hit you and you just need to be calm at the end and just right. try to defend your what work you have in your head that's it sir. yes uh, sally uh, thank you thanks a lot for this uh, uh, interaction and for this 
uh, interview because this will help others because I know there is nothing about IIT Bombay PhD interview experience for English literature, especially for English literature. So your interview, your in interaction will help many students in future. OK, so thanks a lot, Sally. Yes, sir. I'm also glad sir. I'm being here because I'm also in the learning process and I'll be happy to share my experience with everyone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Once again, thanks. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, sir.